Today, I want to talk about what I consider to be the most important ally you have as an investor, namely compounding. Now, you may have heard that Albert Einstein described compound interest as, quote, the most powerful force in the universe, or even the greatest invention of man. Well, sorry, but there's no evidence Einstein actually said any of those things. It's just an urban myth that's been repeated all over the internet. However, I'm sure Einstein would have agreed that compounding can produce some pretty spectacular returns for investors. Let's look at an example. Assume you start with $10,000 and invest it in an index fund that returns 8% annually before tax. We'll also assume that you reinvest all of your dividends to make the most of compounding. Now I can hear some of you objecting that 8% is too high, but that's roughly what the S&P 500 returned over the past 20 years. And that period included both the tech meltdown and a severe financial crisis. Now let's see how your money would grow. As you can see from this chart, after one year, your $10,000 initial investment would be worth $10,800. After two years, $11,664. Now, because your money is compounding, the percentage increases stay the same every year, 8%. But as you can see, the dollar increases are getting larger and larger. By year 30, your $10,000 initial investment would have grown to more than $100,000. That's a tenfold increase without adding a penny. By year 35, you'd have $147,853, an increase of more than $47,000 in just five years. Because of the way compounding works, it's the later years that really build your wealth in a big way. So, staying focused on the long term is critical. If you reinvest all your dividends and you make regular contributions to your portfolio, compounding will produce even more amazing results. You don't need to be an Einstein to appreciate that.